Kahuna. <laughs> this is the latest version of OpenPilot GCS. First, we'll try to get the error here so you can see what, is ta what I'm talking about, and hopefully, this is the same error you're getting. I'll plug it in, and I'll move this down here so you can see the uh, LED blinks. Alright, so there it, think it, it thinks it found it. Yeah, okay. So the CC3D board is being recognized. You can tell because as I move this, it's. Oops, there we go. We'll put it. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Although it's going backward for whatever reason. Oh well, the point is it's being recognized. You can tell by this thing moving when I move the board. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna push this upgrade and erase up here in this corner. And I click on upgrade and erase and it just sits there and it says bringing the board into bootloader mode, please wait. And the board will not go into bootloader mode. Well, just to tell you real quick, this board came with some bad firmware on it. And so what you have to do is get good firmware on it. Well. That's what you're trying to do here, right? Okay, so this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna pull this out and I'm going to actually restart Open Pilot GCS. And I'm gonna go to the firmware page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this rescue button. Okay, so you click rescue, you got 10, 20 seconds or whatever. Okay, so I plug the CC3D board back in Okay, it immediately recognized it as a CC3D board, which is good. So you know this, this board is actually good, it just can't figure out firmware for whatever reason. Okay, the hardest part of this is going to be this next step. You have to have, find some firmware that you know works, and I'll have a link to this firmware in the description. And what you want to do is download this firmware and put it on to your board. And I'm doing it just like this. I clicked open and I went in there, I selected the firmware. You have to click, I know what I'm doing. And this, before I go any further, this only works if your board is a CC3D. And as long as it's a CC3D board, this should work. I just did it on his other four boards. So I was gonna show you this one. Okay, uh, open, I selected it. I click, I know what I'm doing. And then I click flash. And here it says erasing, uploading firmware. Okay, so we're getting good firmware, hopefully, onto this, or at least firmware we know works. It may not be current, but we know it works. I know it works because it came off one of my other quads. Okay, so at this point, we are uh, fine to disconnect. You don't have to click the little disconnect button over here because it's not connected. So we'll go ahead and we'll unplug this. And again, I'm going to restart the open GCS again. I don't know why you have to, but you just do it. It'll work. It'll work. It, at least it works for me. Wait for it. Okay, we went, again, we'll go back to the firmware page. And now when we plug this in, it should boot up the other firmware, but it'll probably say it's out of date. So go ahead and plug it in. Wait for it. And there it is. It's recognized. It's still going backward for whatever reason. That's okay. And we go ahead and click. It just says the GCS and firmware versions are out of date or out of sync, so who cares? Push OK. And now we're going to click this upgrade and erase up here in the corner. And look at that. Now it's upgrading it. Okay, now this is the part you have to wait for all this to go. Pretty soon this little thing here will start recognizing it again and it'll start flipping around, but we have to wait for the firmware to get uploaded. And this is rebooting and erasing, and here you can see the blank codes. But you do want to wait for this to button to say OK. This will start recognizing, and then the button will say OK, but you need to wait for this. So... I had this problem with my first CC3D board, and it took me weeks to figure it out. OK, good. Again, it's... Oh no, it's turning the right direction. I said it was turning wrong. It's actually turning the right direction. I was expecting the... Uh, whoa. I was expecting the uh, ground to move the opposite direct to move the direction I was moving. Anyway, this board may actually not be good. Let's go ahead and disconnect it. We'll try to reconnect it. Well, anyway, this is actually how you got how I got it to work. Now <laughs> it's still spinning. Out of the five, two, one other one did this. The other ones all work like I would expect. Like you hold it here and then you turn it around and it just works. Here we'll try we'll try to. Uh, halt this and restart it. But anyway, this is the process that I went through to get these CC3D boards to work. If you have any questions about it, <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know. I, I'm lucky to get this, get it this far to work. So anyway, 
if you have uh, if you do have any questions though you're all you can try to leave them in the comments and i'll try to help you but don't expect miracles because if you're buying if you're worried about these cc3d boards the, the answer you're always going to get is buy a real one don't buy the the knockoff ones from other countries you need to get one from an, an official cc3d uh reseller if you don't know who those are you probably need to visit the open pilot uh web page and the cc3d homepage and figure out who they are anyway that's how I got my CC3Ds to work. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you. Thanks for watching.